Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this word. Praise the Lord. You got to just see with me. I'm excited about what I, what God has laid on my heart to share with all of you. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. I want you to turn your Bibles with me. Praise God to Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. Praise God. And I know that we do have persons that will assist with making sure the scriptures are being posted. Praise God. Second Chronicles verses 14. Praise God is going to be our first passage of scripture. Praise the Lord. And for all of you, praise God, that are viewing, praise God, from whatever part of the world that you are, praise the Lord. I really, really want to thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 7 from verses, we're going to read verses 14. And the word of God says, if my people, if my people, so he's speaking to the church, the body of Christ. If my people, which are called, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves if the christians if the body of christ the church ecclesia would humble herself would humble ourselves if my people richard carbob and they would humble themselves and pray praise god and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways once we humble ourselves, pray, hmm? seek God's face, turn from our wicked ways. Here is what God would do. Here is what God would do. We're into spiritual warfare, but there are some conditions. There are some conditions, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. If we do these four things, this is what God has promised to do for us. No matter what per part of the world you are, what nation you're in, what island or country you're in, this is what God say. He said, then I will hear. Is it that God is not hearing from us? Is it that we're praying, but we're not humbling ourselves enough? Is it that we're praying, but we're not really seeking him with a pure, penitent heart? Come on, I need you to talk to me now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Is it that the, some, something is not right? Something is not right. Is it that we're praying, but our prayers are not being answered? Could it be that it's because we're not humbling ourselves before God? Could it be that we're not really seeking after God? We have lost that zeal and that desire, that fear and admonition of God. Could it be that our minds is occupied and preoccupied with COVID-19, pandemic, with what we're hearing in the media, what we're hearing, what we're watching on the television, on YouTube, all the little stuff that's being flung at us via WhatsApp and all those things. Could it not be that people have stopped seeking after God for answers? He said, if we humble ourselves, pray, hmm? seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, repent. He said, if we do these four things, he said, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. The land need healing, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Our land is in a mess. Come on, somebody. The land need healing. It doesn't matter what part of the world that you're in. 
you cannot help but say that the land needs healing. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Our land need healing. The land is in trouble. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, there are some benefits. As I started to teach on the last broadcast, there are some benefits to prayer warfare. Notice we talk about spiritual warfare, but spiritual warfare entails prayer warfare. We cannot go into spiritual warfare unless we learn prayer warfare, how to pray and war in the spirit realm. Talk to me, somebody. Praise the Lord. Talk to me, somebody. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. And so there are some benefits, praise God, to spiritual warfare and prayer warfare. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And there are many people that don't understand this. They think that they can just say the blood of Jesus is against you and the devil is going to go or, you know, demons are going to leave. Come on. They do not realize the power of prayer warfare where you pray and you pour out before God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Where you pour out before God in prayer. Praise God. And you put that situation, glory be to God, you put that predicament, you put that, that, that problem before God. Hallelujah. In prayer. You wage war in prayer. Praise God. Yes, the name of Jesus is powerful. Yes, demon tremble at the name of Jesus. But after they have trembled, you don't want them to be just trembling. We want to be able to destroy the works of the enemy. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so it's time for you to start winning the fight. No more losing. It's time that you stop losing all these battles over and over and over again. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I want you to know there are some benefits, praise God, to prayer warfare. We must gain entrance, praise God. We must learn to gain entrance into the storehouse of God's blessings for us. You must learn to get in the presence of God. You must learn to get in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Through cons consistent prayer. You don't just wait until you have a problem. You don't just wait until things start to attack you. And then you want to pray and you want to go before God for deliverance. You must learn to be in constant prayer warfare. If you're going to win battles this year, praise God. Hallelujah. There are a lot of you, praise God, that have family members and friends and co-workers. Brethren, praise God. Some of you are in it. You know, you're, you're in sev under severe attacks by the enemy. Talk to me, somebody. You're under constant attack by the enemy. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. You see, Christian warfare, praise God, is unique. It's a different kind of warfare. Praise God. It's unique. Because it is a fight that yields eternal and everlasting rewards. Praise God. This is a fight that yields eternal and everlasting rewards. Praise God. Blessings of eternal value. Praise God in prayer warfare. I know that you, that many of you are familiar with spiritual warfare. Prayer warfare is really spiritual warfare. But I just want to break it down that you understand what spiritual warfare is. You cannot be doing spiritual warfare if you're not a prayer warrior. You cannot win battles if you don't like prayer and fasting. 
You cannot win battles if you just mumble out one little something now and again. Praise God, you got to understand. So I am kind of shifting it from saying spiritual warfare. Let's go into prayer warfare. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, Let's go into to prayer warfare. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so the blessings of prayer warfare, glory be to God, praise God, is of it, the blessings of eternal values are reserved for those who have fought and overcome. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You must be an overcomer. You can't be given up on every little thing. Every little thing move you. Every little thing shake you. Every little thing you say, I'm not going back to no church because the church full of hypocrites. I'm not going back to no church because she offended me, because he offended me. I'm not going back to no church because I didn't like the message that the pastor preached last week or the week before. I'm not going back to no church because of this or because of that. You have to be an overcomer. You praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, God promises reward to those who overcome. It says, praise God, in Revelations 2 and verse 7, it says, praise God. Hallelujah. He that overcometh rewards are promised to him that overcometh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the benefits of our Christian warfare, praise God, encompasses not only the things of time, praise God, but also the things of eternity. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It does not only concern the temporal blessings. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm not just talking about the blessings that is around us today. Praise God. It's not just about, praise God, the temporal bless, blessings of life. It also concerns the blessings of eternity. You must become an overcomer. Praise God. Glory be to God. You see, the results are permanent when you become an overcomer. Praise the Lord. The results are durable. Praise God and everlasting. For every victory, there is a reward of everlasting duration. Praise the Lord. And so if you're going to be a prayer warrior, it is more than a fancy title. It is more than you coming on Facebook or coming on social media with all these little fancy stuff and all this little hype. Praise God. You've got to make sure that you have some testimonies. Praise the Lord. You've got to make sure that when it's all over, that you can testify about what you have gone through. Praise God. You can testify of, of how you have overcome some things. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. There's a lot of people today, praise God, that they don't want to fight. Praise God. They want people to always be praying for them. You know, nothing is wrong with you asking somebody to pray for you. You know, nothing is wrong with that. But you must learn also to pray for yourself. Come on, somebody, and help me out here. You must learn also to pray for yourself. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. You got to learn to pray also for yourself. Praise the Lord. Because if there wasn't that some of you um, really knew, praise God, what to pray about and how to pray, some of you would have been cut off long ago. You would have been gone long ago. You know, if it was left to the enemy or the enemies, praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If it was left, praise God to the enemy or the enemies, praise God, many of you would have been cut off long ago. You would have disappeared. You would have been gone. Is there anybody that want to praise God for this word? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, when the battle, when the battle of life is all over, when the battle of life is all over, we shall wear a crown. Glory be to God. We shall wear crowns of victory. Oh, glory be to God. Paul was confident in this fact when he declared. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Paul was confident in this fact when he declared. Praise God. I have fought a good fight. I have said it before, but I got to say it again. If you're going to be a prayer warrior if you're going to be a person that is waging war in the spirit realm praise god glory be to god you have to learn to fight praise god glory be to god hallelujah paul say i have fought a good fight i have finished my course praise the lord he didn't drop out he didn't say i'm not going back he didn't say i'm not gonna preach the gospel no more he didn't say nothing like that praise god he said i've finished my course i have kept the faith praise the lord Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You've got to learn to keep the faith. 
Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Am I helping anyone here? Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He say, henceforth, there is laid up. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Praise God. I'm so excited about this word. You know, praise God. Some, a crown of righteousness has been laid up for you and for you and for you, but you won't get it if you drop out. You won't get it if you stop fighting. You won't get it if you turn your back on God. You won't get it, praise God, if you if you keep on murmuring and complaining. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I'm so excited. Praise the Lord. You won't get it. Praise the Lord. If 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 you if you're gonna tell yourself that you know I I I'm 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 I'm, I, I'm not gonna stop trusting God. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, which he said, a, a crown, he said, I'm um, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me. Praise God on that day. You know, I have some good news for you. Praise God. No one can take your crown. Unless you give it to the devil, praise God. The devil can stop you. You know, the devil can stop you if you allow him to stop you. But there is no one can take your crown, praise God, once you make it in. Glory be to God. It doesn't matter how fast they're going. You make sure that you finish your course. You make sure that you finish good. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Is there anybody that want to praise him? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. He say he shall give me. Praise God. He say he shall give to me that day and not to me only. Praise God. You see how some people act sometimes. They act as if they have the keys to the kingdom. They act as if, praise God, that they that they will be the one to open the door and shut the door in heaven. But I'm so glad, praise God. They, you know, you've got some folks, folks that act as if that they would be the one who is going to dish out the, the awards and dish out the crowns and they're going to give who they want, give and give who they and take away from, you know, and, and give it to, give some for and give some none. That's not how it's going to work. It's, it, the word of God says, praise God, hallelujah, that, 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 you know, that the Lord himself, the righteous judge shall give to me that day and not me only, but unto all them that love his appearance. Second Tim, second Timothy four verses seven and eight. Praise God. Second Timothy four verses seven and eight. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I'm so excited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know someone want to praise God. I know somebody, praise God, want to praise God. Glory be to God. Because, you know, at the end of the day, praise God, it is between you and your God. At the end of the day, it's not between you and anyone else. Praise God, but it's between you and your God. Glory be to God. How many of you appreciate this word? Praise God. Glory be to God. How many of you appreciate this word, this teaching? Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. You see, there's a lot of discouragement going on out there. There's a lot of people who are who are discouraged. I don't know about you, but there is a lot of people, praise God, who are very discouraged during this season. Praise God. And if there was ever a time that we need to encourage one another, praise God, it is now. Praise God. If there's ever a time that people need a word of hope, Praise God, a, a, a word of encouragement, it is now. Praise the Lord, glory be to God, hallelujah. Thank you, evangelist, praise the Lord. Glory be to God for assisting, always there. Praise the Lord, glory be to God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, glory be to God. Mm. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm so excited. Praise God. Hallelujah. Again, in uh, you know, I just I just gave a second Timothy four, seven, and eight. But um again, you can look at first Timothy six and verse twelve. First Timothy six and verses 12, praise God. Paul associates spiritual warfare or prayer warfare, praise God, with eternal blessings. Praise the Lord. When he admonishes Timothy to fight the good fight of faith, praise God. Uh, praise God. He said, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. Now, you just read that in 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. And here we see the backup scripture now in 1 Timothy 6 and verses 12. 
Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thus, by consistently fighting and winning, praise God, the good fight of faith, we are laying hold on the promises of eternal life. Glory be to God. We are laying hold on the promises of God. Hallelujah. You will not get anything from God if you doubt God. You will not get any prayers answered if you doubt God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must fight the good fight of faith. Praise God. As I've been saying, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Go praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You will ne never get your healing, your miracle, your breakthrough. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Unless you have faith in God, faith in the work, in the, in the word of God. Glory be to God. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You see, we are in a race. Glory be to God. We are in a race, praise God. Every one of us is in a race, glory be to God. Whether you believe it or not, we are in a race. Oh, hallelujah. We are in warfare, praise God, hallelujah. We are in warfare. Not only are we in a race, but we are in a real warfare. We have been plunged into warfare the moment that you gave your heart to the Lord. Thank you, babes. Praise God. The moment that you gave your heart to the Lord, praise God, you have been placed in a race, you have been placed in warfare. So get that straight, praise God. Stop complaining, stop murmuring when you come under some attacks. It's part of the, it's, it's part of it. You're in a war. If you never, if you never thought of it before, learn this now. You're in a war. And when you're in a war, you got to learn fast how to fight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, this fight is not, this fight that I'm talking about is not with physical, um, you know, physical fists. We're not fighting with physical fists and, you know, licking down one another. That's not what it's about. You know, we, this fight is against spiritual forces. Oh my God. Hallelujah. This fight is about spiritual forces. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. Come on, somebody. It is not a physical or natural fight. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. It is not a physical or natural or carnal warfare that we're in. It is not fought with human hands. It is not fought with human might or physical weapons. This fight has nothing to do with our physical strength, you know, natural God-given abilities. It has nothing to do with um, our, you know, intellect, intellect or, you know, our education or status quo, um, our achievements, our attainments. This fight has nothing to do with that. It is purely a spiritual war we're in. It's purely a spiritual war it is a real spiritual battle i want to make it clear some of you might not go to churches that teach on these things so you stay with me praise god and you're going to learn a lot glory be to god you're going to learn a lot this is spiritual this is spiritual warfare praise god you know a lot of a lot of you are constantly under attack if it's not you it's your children talk to me somebody if it's not you it's your children when it not your children um you know it's your marriage when it not your marriage it's it's your finances can i get some people that that really want to be honest in the church today because it's not the world is not in spiritual warfare you know the enemy already has them captivated. He already has them, you know, he's holding on to them until they're freed. You understand, unless they want to be free. But but once you become a child of God, once you become a child of God, you're automatically placed in spiritual warfare. You remember Ephesians 6 and verse 12. Now, you I love to bring the word, praise God. Hallelujah. I love to bring the word forth, praise God. I love to bring the scriptures to back up what I'm saying, 
Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Now, let's look at Ephesians 6 and verses 12. It says, it's a well-known passage of scripture. Lord, if you know it, but there are some who might not know it. Praise God. We wrestle. So we're in a wrestling match. The moment you give your heart to God, you have been placed in a wrestling match. Praise God. The moment that you give your heart to God, you have been placed in a wrestling match. Come on, somebody. Mm. You have been placed in a wrestling match. So here's what it says. We wrestle not. Now, if it says we wrestle not, it means that we are in a fight. It says we wrestle not against. So we have some opponents. We have some thing or someone wrestling against. You can't wrestle by yourself. Unless you're mad. Here, here we see, praise God. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's what I was saying. It's not physical. It is not natural. It is not carnal. That is flesh and blood, bones and flesh and blood. But here we are reminded that this match that we're in, this wrestling match that we are in, it's not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Huh? Against some evil forces, demonic forces, evil agendas, evil entities. Come on, somebody. Against principalities, against powers, huh? against the rulers of darkness of this world. Not of the world to come, but of this world that we're in, this present world that we're in. Against spiritual wickedness. My God, spiritual wickedness in high places. Come on. Hallelujah. And when we say high places, you must remember these high places. Hallelujah. Has to do with the heavenlies. This has to do with the heavenlies. They're up there. You know, you have up you 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 have these these spirit beings. You have spirit beings that have been assigned over nations. You have spirit beings that have been assigned over islands. Spirit beings that have been assigned over homes, over families. Come on, somebody. You have demons that have been placed on certain assignment to destroy marriages. Demons are placed on certain assignments to, to cause sickness. Come on, somebody. You have, you have demons that have placed on assignments to mash up churches, to bring down pastors. Come on, somebody. To bring down spiritual leaders. You have demonic forces. That, that are assigned to take down our children, you know, children of Christians, you know, attack our children and want them to turn drug addicts and alcoholics. Come on, somebody. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. We got we, these, these, these demons have been assigned. You know, they've been assigned. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They are on assignments. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I don't want you to, to take what I'm saying lightly. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you, Apostle uh, Box. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you, Minister Faithy Banks. And some of you out there that have not come in this yet, we thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. To Stavon Bennett, Louis Mortis. Praise God. Speaker. Um, Salon Jones, praise God, and so many others of you, praise the Lord. Glory be to God, Pastor Janelle Alexander and others, praise the Lord. Glory be to God, there's so many of you out there, those of you that are viewing on the television, praise God. I want to thank God for all of you because I know you're there. Praise God, glory be to God. I want to thank God for each and every one of you who have shared and who are sharing. Praise God, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. Praise God. And so you got to understand about prayer warfare. We know that we talk about spiritual warfare. Praise God. Glory be to God. But we want to 
no, not just say spiritual warfare. We want to we want to start saying prayer warfare over the years. That's the terminology that I uh, praise God that I would use prayer warfare because a lot of people were really, really talk about spiritual warfare, spiritual war, but, but they didn't want to pray. They didn't want to pray warfare is about prayer. Praise God. You got to learn to pray. And, and, and we, we know, praise God, in Second Chronicles, praise God, the scripture that was taken, praise God, hallelujah, in Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. One of the things, the, 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 the first thing that we were exhorted to do after we humble ourselves is to pray. Pray. He said, pray. Humble yourself. And, and in order for you to be a prayer warrior, you got to humble yourself before God. You got to pray. You got to seek his face. You got to turn from your wicked ways. All of us. This is not a one man band thing. Nobody can point any fingers on anyone. All of us. Praise God. We must get to the place. It's more than the pastor. It's more than the bishop. It's more than the apostle or the prophetess, the evangelist, the teacher, or whoever, or the brethren. Praise God. It's more than the prayer band. Every born again believer, if you're going to become a, 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 an intercessor, praise God. If you're going to win, win, you know, these battles, praise God. You're going to have to love prayer. You're going to have to become a, you, you're going to have to become a, a, a prayer warrior. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so I just want you to know, praise God. I just want you to know, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God that, that, that this, this, this warfare, you know, Paul calls it a good fight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so we can't go with our natural. We see so many people are getting messed up today. We see people getting messed up today, including in the church, getting messed up today, trying to fight this, trying to fight this war. Praise God in their flesh, trying to fight this war in the in the natural, trying to fight this war with with experience and 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 and, and, and you know you know as I said before, when you're in this warfare, you know there is a time and place to talk about um the blood of Jesus is against you or I come against you I plead the blood of Jesus come on there's a time for that but the enemy knows those that are prayer warriors. The enemy knows also those that are waging war in, in you know, in, in, in their prayer life. Praise God. So you can always get up and talk about the blood of Jesus is against you all you want. If that's all you're doing, you're not going to get far. You better make sure that you're, that, 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 that you're, that you're praying. Make sure that you love prayer. Make sure that you love the word of God. Make sure that you, that you, that you take some time, whether it's even once a week to, 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 to empty yourself before God by prayer and fasting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where are things going now? You can't depend on, 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 on wait until you go in the, go in the church and and you see crowd and you try to put on this show. You don't see what's happening now. You don't see what's happening now. The churches is on that tack. Praise God. We're talking about the, the physical gathering because we are the church ecclesia to call the chosen separated ones. Praise God. We are the church, but there is that part. There is another part to the church. Praise God. The assembling of the brethren because we were told that we should not forsake. The assembling of the brethren, praise God, as we gather and come together. Iron sharpness, iron. But do you see what's happening now? Every man for himself, every man for himself, him, him and his God, it is becoming personal. It has always been personal, but people are going to realize now that, that when they can't go, when they can't go in the church, when they can't get in the church. And you know, sometimes when the church door is open and you, and you exhort people to come to church, they, they, they were taking it light. Many people were taking it light as a joke thing. Come on, it's about it. Many people were skipping church and going to the beach and going to ball games and, 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 and doing all kinds of things. Come on, somebody. And know that, 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 that they can, that they can't get in. Come on, somebody. Know that they can't get in. They have to be calling to find out if I can come to church next week or if I can come. You have any space? You have any space and any space left for me come this Sunday? Any space left? Come on, somebody. Do you see where we are today? 
You better let this, you better let this word soak in that I'm bringing. Come on, somebody. You better let this word soak in that I am bringing. Praise God. Hallelujah. You better learn to wage war for yourself. You better learn to wage war. This is not the time to play games and talk foolishness. This is some serious times. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You see, our enemies, our enemies, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, our enemies are not physical or human beings. So many times we, so many times we are so busy fighting against each other because of envy and jealousy and bad mind. And you know, all those kind of beggary elements and foolishness that Paul calls them. Praise the Lord. You understand? We are so busy fighting flesh and blood. We are so busy fighting against each other, fighting against one another, that we have lost, we have lost out on who the real enemies are. And so our enemies are not physical, physical or, 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 or natural human beings. They are not men of flesh and blood, but real spirits. Lord God Almighty, help me, Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost, in here. We are fighting real spirits. So for all of you who don't believe in, 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 demon, in demons and all of you who, who, who have never been taught that, that there are real demons, you understand? Praise God. You're in, there is a Satan and, 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 that, and, and, and that this warfare is real. You understand? There's, there's some sicknesses that is not natural. There are some sicknesses that are not natural. It is sometimes people go, but sometimes Bishop Leroy, sometimes people go to doctor for, only for the doctor to, to can't find nothing wrong with them. Come on. Can't find nothing wrong with them. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Can't find a thing wrong with them. Spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. I'm not saying that all sickness is that. So let me make that clear. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you have people sometimes that when they go, you know, when they go sometimes to, to when they go sometimes to a medical doctor, the doctor can't even find out what do them. And they're sick, sick. Do know, going from one specialist to the next, spending their money, still can't find out what's wrong with them. Taking all kinds of medications. Sometimes, you know, there are some doors that has been left open. There are some doors that still crack and cause these little demonic forces, these little entities to, to, to slide in and attack. Huh? Go oh, praise God. Glory be to God. I pray that you're being wonderfully blessed as I'm getting ready to come down. Start leaving um, your comments for those of you that are on Facebook Live. Praise God, or online or offline. Praise God. Those of you on YouTube, leave your comments. Praise God. If you want me to be praying with you and your family, praying for you and with you and your, you know, your children, your marriage, your finances, you know, your health. Come on. God know why he's, why he have me doing these series. You don't want to miss none of them. You don't want to miss none of them. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Make sure that you turn on. Praise God. Make sure that you follow, share, you know, get notified. Praise God. You know, subscribe on YouTube. Hit the little gray bell. You understand? Share the television info. You understand? Don't miss any of these teachings because this is where we are now, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we, we got to understand where we are. You understand when you look around and see all that's happening in the world today, when you look around and, 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 and see what's going on, you can see the demonic forces at work. You understand? You understand? There's an agenda to deep, to de, um, popularize and, 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 and so many things is happening and, 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 and people are not waking up and watching and, 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 and discerning in the spirit realm. We're in a war. Come on, and the war is for man's soul. The war is for man's soul. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. The war is for man's soul. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see, hallelujah. We do not fight against men or against things. 
Let me make that clear. Sometimes people think that we're fighting against things. We are not fighting against things. We are fighting against real demonic evil forces, evil spirits. The Bible even calls them unclean spirits. You understand? Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Can somebody praise the Lord? Hallelujah. You see, we were not fighting against men or things as they appear in the physical or material realm. Rather, we battle with real spirits. The root cause of every problem is an evil spirit, an attack by an evil spirit. My God, the root cause, the root cause of every problem in our lives is because of some kind of attack in the spirit realm. My God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, real demons, real, a real enemy, Satan himself. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Mm. My God. Somebody want to give God thanks for this word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Spiritual warfare is not a show. I want to close out with this. Spiritual warfare is not a show. I see so many times people come on and want to put on this, you know, show. And you know, sometimes you see people say they're doing spiritual warfare. They say they're casting out demon and they just want to put on a show. You don't play with these evil spirits. You don't play with these demons. This is not by might and power. You're dealing with some serious forces, evil spirits against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. They are high. They are not here on earth. They're lurking in the heavenlies. You understand? And so it is nothing to play with. It's not a show. You understand? It's not a show of physical strength. Or of intellect, intellectual might. You cannot fight Satan with bow, arrows and spears. You cannot fight Satan with just mere fancy words. Or, 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 or modern technology and nuclear weapons and all that. That kind of thing. Satan, no business with that. You understand. You know, don't care how sophisticated it is. You understand. Yeah, you understand Satan and his demons are spirit beings and therefore they can only be fought with the supernatural or spiritual weapons. My God, the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters, as I close out, the kingdom of God does not consist of physical or material manifestations. Glory be to God. Are you hearing me? The word of God declares for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Praise God. First Corinthians four and verse 20. I pray and trust that you're hearing me. Praise God for the kingdom of God is not in words. This is not a sure thing. Praise God. But it is in power. Praise God. Likewise, the kingdom of Satan is not based on natural principles but on spiritual principles you're not hearing me therefore to combat with satanic forces with evil forces demonic forces come on somebody we need the power of god in our life we need praise god the power of god the supernatural might of almighty god and I'm going to leave you with this scripture as taken from Zechariah, Zechari Zechariah 4 in verse 6. Praise God. I pray that you have been wonderfully blessed. I pray that you have been wonderfully blessed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I pray that you have been exhorted, that you have been encouraged, and that you will, you will start waging war. You will become a prayer warrior. Praise God. You will wage war through prayer and fasting.
not by might nor by power. Praise God. Let's read what Zechariah 4 and verse 6 says. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Praise God. Hallelujah. It was such a great honor and privilege of mine, praise the Lord, coming into your homes, at your workplaces, via Facebook Live, praise God, you know, online, offline, glory be to God, hallelujah, praise the Lord, glory be to God, hallelujah, and I want to thank God for all of you, Praise God. I want to thank God for all of you, wherever you are. Thank God for those of you on the television, those of you on YouTube. I pray that this teaching, praise God, these teachings, praise God, would be a source of strength to you, to your family. Praise God. If you're married, you as a couple, praise God. If you're single, you will be strengthened. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I pray that you have been exhorted. I pray that you have been encouraged. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so I just want to say I thank God for each and every one of you who take the time out from time to time to share. Praise God to encourage other believers. Praise God. Glory be to God. And so I just want to say until next time, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face continue to shine upon you. Praise God. May his peace be in your homes, in your businesses, in your ministries. Praise God. In your marriage. Praise God. Hallelujah. In your businesses. Praise God. Glory be to God. In your life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, for this word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for this word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I thank God for each and every one of you. Praise God. I pray the next time that I hear from you, praise God, you would come back and testify or you will call. Glory be to God. You will call in and you will testify how blessed you have been by the word. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You will testify. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And you will give God glory and praise. Hallelujah for the word. So until next time, may the good Lord be with you all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I always like to say, praise God. If you don't have a home-based church, the doors of Vision America Church of God is open to one and all. On a Sunday morning, 9.30 a.m. in Portmore, Lot 47 East, in Tree, Greater Portmore. Down there in Evans Meadows in Clarendon, right here in Jamaica. Praise God. 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can join us right there in Evans Meadows and Denver Clarendon next to the cemetery. And so I just want to say God bless all of you. Praise the Lord. Until next time. Shalom. Peace.